I came across a really interesting book today, The History of Mathematics. And being a math teacher, I couldn't resist but pick it up to take a look inside. And it looked lovely, nice colourful pictures. I saw Pythagoras' theorem there, just as expected. And then I looked out for the most important part of mathematics, the key to mathematics, algebra. And I was expecting to see a particular name. I saw René Descartes, but I couldn't find this one particular individual. If you know who it is, then let me know in the comments. Next, I went to the chapter of zero, and I know that there was a huge contribution by the Indians, but again, no mention of this one particular man. So I decided to ask ChatGPT. Hey ChatGPT, who is considered to be the founder of algebra? The title of the founder of algebra is most commonly attributed to Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. Uh, his work in the ninth century really laid the groundwork for algebra as a distinct branch of mathematics, and his writings introduced methods that evolved into the algebra we know today. Very, very interesting. This book, being titled as the history of mathematics, does not include this one particular individual. So guys, there you have it. The founder and probably some of you GCSE students, your nightmare is Muhammad al-Kharizmi, who is considered to be the founder of modern day algebra and had a lot of contribution to mathematics as we know it today.